Hi there everyone, welcome to XTB Online. Even though we're unable to meet in our church building, we can still worship God and explore the Bible together. I'm sure the last few weeks have been really difficult and strange for you, um, as they have been for me. But it's actually really important in times like these that we look to the Bible and learn from it. And the story that I'm going to tell you today is really relevant to um, difficult times and how to succeed. But before we do the Bible story, we're going to have some time to worship. And during this time, you're going to get a chance to sing the two songs that we've been singing over the last few weeks at XTV. So the first song is Spirit of God and remember the actions that I've taught you. Hopefully you'll practice them and you can show them to your parents. And the second song is Hosanna in the Highest. So enjoy. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Lord, we lift up your name. Where the hearts full of praise. Exalted, O oh Lord, my God, Hosanna in the highest. Glory, glory, glory in the highest. Glory, glory, glory in the Full of praise, be exalted, O Lord, my God. Glory to the King of Kings. Lord, my God, 
Jesus is the King of Kings. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name. Hearts full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord, my God. Hosanna in the highest. Okay, so before I read today's story, I want you to get two pieces of paper, and on one of them, I'd like you to write the word work. And the second piece of paper, I want you to write the word pray. You can pause the video. Today's story is about a man called Nehemiah. This story is found in the Bible and is found in a book called Nehemiah. And it was written by Nehemiah himself. Nehemiah lived in a city called Susa. And in today's story, you're going to hear some difficulties that Nehemiah had to face. And he succeeded in these difficulties because he did two things. I wonder if you can work out what those two things were. I'm going to read the story in sections. And at the end of each section, I want you to work out whether Nehemiah prayed to God or whether he worked hard for God. Nehemiah used to live in Jerusalem. But the city had been invaded and Nehemiah had been taken away to Susa to work as a servant for King Artaxerxes. One day he heard that the walls around Jerusalem had been broken down. He was very upset so he prayed to God for help. Lord you are great please help me. Even though I am far away from home remember you promised to look after your people. When I serve the king today let him be pleased with me and let him do what I ask. When Nehemiah went to serve the king, the king noticed that Nehemiah was sad. So he asked him what was wrong. Nehemiah told the king that his city was in ruins. The king asked how he could help. So Nehemiah quickly prayed to God and then asked the king, to allow him to go home to rebuild the walls. The king said yes, so Nehemiah left for Jerusalem. When Nehemiah arrived in Jerusalem, he went to see the broken walls. Then he said to the Israelites, Jerusalem is truly a mess. We need to get this rebuilt. He told them how God had helped him with the king, so they all agreed to help with the repairs. However, other people living in the city were not happy about the Israelites rebuilding the walls and tried to start a fight. But the Israelites kept praying to God for help and put guards on patrol day and night. Nehemiah told them not to be afraid and God continued to keep them safe. God is just the same today as he was with Nehemiah. He likes us to pray to him when we need help and he also likes us to work hard for him. We're now going to watch a video to help us understand the story of Nehemiah. Nehemiah. So part of God's story is about a guy named Nehemiah, and it goes like this. Remember God's family? They were called the Israelites because they lived in, you guessed it, Israel. But some of them lived far away from their home, and one of those guys was Nehemiah. He lived in Persia and worked for the king. One day, his brother told him that a city in Israel called Jerusalem was suffering, and many people there weren't following God anymore and their city wasn't in very good shape. Nehemiah cried, God, you are wonderful. 
but your family's home is in trouble. Please help us. When I serve the king his wine today, make him pleased with me and have him do what I ask. Later, when Nehemiah served the king's wine, the king noticed that Nehemiah looked sad. So the king asked why. Nehemiah told him about Jerusalem and asked if he could go back to rebuild the wall. The king could have killed Nehemiah for asking to leave, but instead he said go. He even helped. That's because God heard Nehemiah's prayer and answered it. Anyway, Nehemiah went to work rebuilding the wall, but little did he know he was going to need to ask for a lot more help from God. See, God and his family have always had enemies, and these enemies wanted to stop Nehemiah and the people helping him. First, they made fun of them. So Nehemiah prayed again. He said, God, some people hate us. Please get rid of them, and went back to work. Now, God does hear and answer every prayer, but sometimes not in the way we expect or even in the way we want. And at first, it seemed like God wasn't answering this one at all, because when the enemy saw that Nehemiah was still building, they planned an attack. But Nehemiah trusted that God heard his prayer even if it didn't feel like it. And God did! He caused some people to overhear the enemy's plan and warn Nehemiah. Even though the enemies were still after him, Nehemiah planned a defense and told the others, Don't be afraid of your enemies. Remember the Lord. He is great and powerful. And on they worked, building, building, building. The closer the wall got to being finished, the more Nehemiah's enemies realized they couldn't stop him by making fun of him or by attacking him. Hmm, time for something else. They tried everything. They sent messages to get Nehemiah to leave the wall and meet them. He wouldn't. They hoped Nehemiah's hands would get weak, but Nehemiah had asked God to make his hands stronger. They even paid a priest to ask Nehemiah to leave the wall and come to the temple. But Nehemiah trusted God more than anyone else, even the priest, and he refused to stop doing the job God had given him. Kids, are you willing to listen to God and obey Him, no matter what? Well, finally, the wall was done. God's family got to go home again, and Nehemiah's enemies found that nothing stops God's plans. The Israelites celebrated and praised God, and as they praised, they realized how much their sins had hurt God, and they felt terrible. They told God they were sorry and thanked Him for helping them. Then they made a brand new promise to follow Him, and Jerusalem was once again a safe place where people honored God. And that's the story of Nehemiah. But just so you know, there's another story where God fixes something that's broken. See, one day, God would send a very special rescuer, not to save a wall, but to save the world. He made it possible for not just Israelites, but everyone in the whole world to confess their sin to God, thank Him for His rescue, and follow Him. And just like that old wall was made new back then, our old lives can be made new right now because Jesus has rescued us. And that's a part of God's story. Would you like to ask God for help today? Write down some ideas that you would like to pray to God about this. And write down some ideas of how you're gonna work hard for God this week. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed our time together this week and have learned something about how you can grow closer to God. And I hope to see you next week.